Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to cover the SharePoint integration with Dynamic 365 CE. So you now no more, no more worry about your Dynamic 365 instance running out of storage or increasing cost. If you have Dynamic 365 and SharePoint online, your site is on same Office 365 tenant and Dynamic 365. You can store your files in the SharePoint and also manage the security using the SharePoint site permissions. So now let's start how you configure it. Yes. So for now to configure the SharePoint integration with D365 CRM, you have a SharePoint site with you. If you already have, you can use that. Otherwise you can create a new SharePoint site. So how you can create a SharePoint site is click on these three nine dots. Then you can uh, click on the SharePoint. Let's open this in new tab. And yes, then click on this create site. After that, I'm selecting the team site, site type. And uh, I did not need any template. So I'm selecting this as standard team. Use template, giving the site name as CRM docs. The group allies is available, site address is also available. So, so this is the site address that I would be using to configure the SharePoint integration with our CRM. So let us now click on the next. Okay, I'm selecting the privacy is type private for now. You can also set it uh, public. So anyone in the organization can access this site. And when it is private, I can add members to the site. So those members can uh, uh, update and see the content in, the, in that SharePoint site. So I'm selecting the language as English, click on this create site. And I need to add the members here. So if I need to add the members, I would be uh, adding a member. Here also you can add the member or otherwise, if you uh, want to add a member later, you can also do that. So click on this finish. So yes, this is my SharePoint site that I have created. So now in order to set up our CRM integration with the SharePoint, we need our site URL. So for that, I'm copying my site URL. And now let us go to CRM. And in the CRM, you also have to enable the SharePoint integration and do some configurations. So for that, let us click on this settings, then advanced settings. So now this is the new view for advanced settings. So this will navigate you to the power platform, advanced set, environment settings, model driven app. So if you are using uh, the old view of advanced settings, you will also see the, uh, this document management there also. And now as this is the new uh, view, so I'm configuring my SharePoint in the new view. So uh, under the system group, you would be selecting the document management then you have to configure server based SharePoint integration. So click on this. So click on this next, then select where your SharePoint sites are located. So my SharePoint site is online. So select online and click on next. And here you would be specify the SharePoint URL. So this is the URL of the SharePoint site that we have just created. So I will input that here and click on next. So it is validating my validation status is complete and validation is valid validation succeeded. So click on this finish. So now the, uh, we set up the SharePoint integration and after that, in the next step, you have to uh, click on this document management settings. So here you have to check the entities under which you anticipate storing documents and then click on next. So I want to enable my SharePoint integration for account entity. Here you would be able to see all the entities that are out of the box and all the custom entities that you will create it will also be visible here. So you can select entities as per your requirement and here you have to sell add the URL of your SharePoint site. So I will paste it here and then click on next. 
So for now, I'm not checking this checkbox and click on next. And now click on this. Okay. So these are the entities that are already checked uh, by the system. So yes, the status is succeeded now and click on finish. So now my SharePoint integration is now live and for test that, let me go to my uh, CRM, just do a hard refresh. I will create a new account, giving the account name as test SharePoint integration and just save it. After that, you have to click on this related and documents. So this is the uh, view from which where you can uh, upload your file to the SharePoint site. So now you just click on this upload and choose file. So for now, for testing, I'm just, uh, you can select the file of any type. So I'm, uh, I need to find the document. I'm just selecting this and open and OK. So now my file is uh, uploaded to the SharePoint site. Let's select this and open location. So it will uh, take you to the location where your file is uh, uploaded. So uh, what it, it does is you have under account you have the uh, account name and uh, separated by underscore. This is the GUID of your account record. So if I upload one more file to the same account, and uh, now just do a refresh of it. So you would see under account, under that particular account that is SharePoint integration, we have all those files uploaded here. If I go to site contents, so you will able to see here we have a folder account and under account we have a folder with the account name separated by underscore and the account GUID in capital letters. If I open it, all my SharePoint uh, all my files related to this account are visible here. So yes, uh, this way you can uh, enable the SharePoint integration with your CRM. Hope this helps. Thank you.